which it looked like uh, your squad was a little sluggish there in the first half. Well, the biggest change uh, was the rebounding. You know, we were down seven at half and, and actually out rebounding 11 in the second half. So I thought that was a big factor. Uh, you know, Bowles' activity blocking shots, you know, really gave us a big lift. Um, you know, just getting, you know, a little bit more aggressive, you know, defensively active hands. I think we had uh, 50 deflections tonight, which is a high for us. So I just thought our hands were a lot more active. Uh, we started the game, you know, our activity wasn't very good. They got some really easy looks, uh, threes and in transition. So uh, really disappointed with our start. But, uh, you know, again, the rebounding was, was a big key, you know. Your just, defense to get a little better than oh, I don't know. No, you know, it, uh, it's day by day, you know. <laughs> so, but that, that definitely was, you know, they shot 47% the first half and 34 the second. You know, so our defensive activity, um, you know, was better. They scored 32 to 23, you know, the second half, which, you know, the second half's been defensively been really hard on us uh, down there at the other end, you know. Uh, but I thought they did a much better job with their activity tonight. For what it's worth, Bull is just saying he thinks guys are starting to embrace that, that you can be a better defensive team and that there is importance to that. But you still want to see some more consistency. Oh, we, we're just scratching the surface, guys of, where we should be and where we can be, uh, you know. So it's it's a work in progress, and uh, I do like the step we made. I don't want to take that away from them, but you know, it's not like we the lights on and you know we're we're there. We we've got so far to go, and our habits and our communication still, you know, uh, has a long way to go. Sort of stretch there where you have got three steals in a row. In the first the half, there, you know, he did a good thing. He had a bad foul, but you know, no, his his energy there was was really good, and uh, I thought it gave us a big lift. He had four steals, three in the first half, I think, and you know, his energy, you know, that's a big part of any any basketball game is the energy and the leadership that that energy gives you. And I thought Lou, even though he didn't shoot the ball well, I thought he gave us a lot of energy, you know, off the bench, you know, and so. Uh, energy givers, energy takers, you've all read the book, you know, and, and that, that energy, you know, really, really matter, matters. Going into the, into the season, I mean, everybody was anxious to see what bowl would be like, but um, I'm really surprised. I mean, the assortment of shots and the touch. Has he improved or he just knew that going in? He's going to be that way. It, it's a combination. I mean, he's, he's obviously a very talented young man. You know, but his touch has always been pretty good. But, you know, he's getting stronger and, you know, he doesn't rush things like he used to a little bit. And, uh, you know, I, I think as he continues to get older and stronger, you know, those moves will really be even better, you know, because you're not, you're not going to take away his touch. The ball just lays on the rim, you know, whether it's a little jump hook, whether it's a 15 footer, three pointer, you know, he's just, he's got really soft touch. You know, it's just a matter of picking and choosing. His footwork's got to get better on his shooting. But, you know, when his feet are right, you know, he's he's really, you know, a pretty good shooter from three in, you know, anywhere inside. You just got to have the balance. You know, when a seven-footer gets off balance, there's a lot more to sway. And, and uh, so when he's on balance, you know, he's he's a very good shooter. Yeah, Mark improvement in his post-up game. It seems like that's something you're going to regularly. That's that balance. You know, when he's balanced and, and gets wider and lower, makes that turn, um, again, that ball lays on the rim. It's just a matter of balance. You see, sometimes he gets kind of knocked, you know, and he's, those are the ones he misses, you know. But when he's on balance, uh, you know, his percentage is, is pretty high. And after the Texas Southern game, you talked about how the team may not fully recognize the ramifications of the loss. Do you think they recognize the ramifications of this win that this was their best chance? You know, it, it, uh, it it's a good win for us. I, I, I've got a lot of respect for San Diego and the way they play. And, and uh, you know, they're they're tough um, going on the road and beating San Diego State. And, and uh, so it was a good win for us, no doubt. And, uh, uh, you know, we just we got to finish the non-conference really strong here. You know, uh, Boise's up next. And we, we just got to get better each time out. Um, you know, it's... The end of December here, you know, we've 
we've taken our lumps here early uh, in November and early December. We, we've just got to get better. You know, we'd, we've got to finish the month strong. And, you know, I hope they understand that. You know, I've talked to them about sense of urgency. You know, this it's December 12th. we got to get better now. You know, we uh, we got more attention to detail in every facet of the game. Um, you know, you just keep talking about it, keep hammering it. and uh, But a positive result tonight I think will help. You know, I hope. I hope it will. I don't know if you've seen film yet on Boise, but what can you associate with you know, I haven't. Uh, and I'm not smart enough to look ahead. I uh, will start looking at them tomorrow. You know, we'll cut up tonight's film and and, uh, and then start looking at them tomorrow. Now, uh, the assistants have been working on them. You know, uh, so like Kevin had this game tonight, so he and I worked on this one, and then we got somebody else working on that. So uh, tomorrow morning we'll we'll get going on them, but. Uh, uh, you know, they've, they've always played us tough. They'll be excited about coming here and playing. Leon, you know, has got Oregon background. And, uh, you know, it's been a great series for us. Even though they've popped us, it, it makes us better. And so uh, we'll have to get ready, even though they've struggled a little bit just like us. Um, we, we both need the win on Saturday night. Yeah. What are some of those key things that, you, that you'd like to work on here in these next couple of weeks before conference play? Well, the, the biggest thing uh, is the boards. You know, it, when we haven't been successful, we haven't rebounded. We haven't had no physicality on the board. So uh, that's the first thing. Second thing is our activity defensively. No matter what we're in, man, zone, our presses, our activity has got to increase. So team rebounding, team defense, by far, one and two. And the offense just takes longer. You know, guys want to shoot it great every night. You know, like our bench goes five for 22 tonight. You know, they, they were going, I got to get in there and score baskets. You know, you're not going to shoot it good every night, you know. So defense and rebounding, and, and I, I do think we'll become a good offensive team. We're obviously not there now. But I, I think we will become a good offensive team because our, our skill level is good enough. And, and the guys aren't selfish. They want to move the ball. And so uh, eventually, I think our but offense just takes longer, and especially when you're trying to work in a lot of new guys and a lot of freshmen and, you know, a lot of guys who think the most important thing is scoring a basket, you know. And so uh, just got a lot of work to do on the offensive end. But right now for us to make the biggest step, the quickest, board play and defense, we can make a big improvement there. And then eventually I think the offense will catch up. Is this a team that enjoys playing defense? They haven't so far. No, I I mean, I. you got to be honest, they, they have. You know, they – They'd much rather go to the offensive end. Uh, you've watched this play, and, and uh, it's, it's not a team that's locked in on the defensive end. No. Is there any update on Lou's minutes? Is he still at 15 or is that? You know, uh, again, that would be determined by the doctors, and, you know, they'll tell we'll see how he feels tomorrow. And, and they, man, they, you got more charts and more people looking at him. And, and uh, so, you know, we'll just keep progressing. You know, whatever they say. You know, he got the foul trouble tonight, which, uh, you know, he got two in the first half pretty quick in five minutes, you know. So we, and we, we don't want to have him out there for long periods. You know, four or five minutes is the longest stretch, you know, that we want to have him. So uh, we'll just keep moving him in and out and see how he feels. And, uh, but, you know, you guys can see he, he, his energy is good. And even though he didn't shoot it good tonight, you know, he's always around the basketball and, he closes good defensively, his activity. He's got to let people know what he's doing sometimes. But that's all of our guys. We don't, we don't talk worth a darn, you know. So, uh, but he's, you know, his energy really helped us tonight. Ehab's energy really turned the game around. But Lou's energy, I thought, was big, too. You were pretty upfront about saying I've been disappointed with kind of the progress so far this year. Was that second 20 minutes kind of a glimpse of where you hoped you guys would be? Oh, yeah. No, it, definitely an improvement. Definitely a step in the right direction. Uh, but again, you know, it's December 12th, and we're behind where we need to be, and we need to make progress in practice, and then that that progress in practice needs to translate to the game floor. And you know, we've had some good practices, and then we haven't translated them to the game floor, you know. And so, we got to continue to make pro progress in practice for a young team freshman. They got to get better in practice, and then that that progress has to to translate on game night. Your future success is going to depend a lot of on. You have bowling moving in at the same time. If they stay out of foul trouble, it's, it seems almost impossible for 
not impossible. It's very difficult for a team to score inside. Is that going to be a big key? Well, you know, again, um, we, we just got to make sure that whoever we have out there uh, defensively is locked in. But you're right, that's a big advantage with those two with their length and their ability to, to block shots. You know, it, that is a big, it is a big plus. And then if we, we put Lou back there with them, you know, our length back there is pretty good. And our length in the front of the zone with Peyton and Will or Ehab, Victor is not great, but it's not bad. And if they use their athleticism and basketball savvy, you know, we, we should be able to cover a lot of areas.